Hello and welcome. It's 40% bonus fame day and I'm still working through the Lotus Avaya Championship Series. I earned the car once, so I'm just doing this for extra cash. And I thought, you know, I got instant servicing. Let's go back and test out this endurance race. Now, I don't really know why I have this many upgrades. It's a little more than you need to earn the car. I think I started fully upgrading it and I went, yikes, last engine upgrades 400 and last brakes upgrades 140. Mm, nah. So I was waiting for a sale. I haven't seen one or if there was one I guess I missed it all my assists are off I use tilt B controls my steering sensitivity is on two always hire the agent and the manager if you're gonna go do a long endurance race well only if you know it's gonna be successful if you're in your training mode like you're trying to learn how to do this then hold off now we're gonna do an off-track cut right away I'm just gonna warn you so you don't freak out you gotta do this that is a very hard cut to take especially as clean as I just did Ooh, baby, that was smooth. Now, you're going to notice that I do not have this vacuum cleaner on very loud. I've got background music, and that's because this vacuum cleaner gets a little bit annoying sounding, a little bit irritating. So, if you really need a vacuum cleaner, I encourage you to go turn yours on right now, and you can have that lovely sound as you listen to my video. And I'm making comparison to this electric car. So, this car, I think they did a really good job on the handling, because this feels kind of heavy and sluggish. Now, don't get me wrong, acceleration is incredible. In fact, I think that's what gets this car in so much trouble. It accelerates so fast with just that. I'm pretty sure it's just a single gear. Uh, that's how the game acts, at least, as a single gear. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's a single gear. And so the torque and all, all that power you've got, that instant power, just can get you into trouble. Now, um, the brakes, like it just feels out of balance. We're gonna warp ahead here on a regular basis. I'm not gonna show you the whole race. We're warping ahead to where I'm just catching the perpetual point. That cut wasn't as smooth. You saw a noticeable drop in speed. You kind of need to bounce off that wall. Better to bounce off the outside wall than to boom into the barrier, because that sucks. So yeah, back to what I was saying about handling. The car, I mean, it's got a good grip rating, but I just think that this car gets itself into trouble because I don't even think, think the acceleration really tells you the whole story because that's just zero to 60 miles an hour or basically 100 kilometers an hour. This car has unusual acceleration even after that. It's very good, but it just gets you into trouble it seems. And then the brakes definitely are less than what you need for a car like this. I'm not accusing them of doing anything wrong. It's an accurate representation of the car. Electric cars tend to feel heavy. So even a Parabolica here, I'm doing a decent braking point, but then often I end up having to feather a little bit because I get off track right there. Oh, I hate getting off track right there. Now, this gets risky doing this. You need to kind of do a quick little twitch over to the left and purposely be bouncing off this wall. Now, here I try to take the right-hand cut, and whoa, it started going wrong, so I threw my car sideways. Why did I do that? You don't want to hit your front end into something. I'd rather hit my side, preferably the rear. You see, when you damage your front hand, when you get that horrible cracking sound, you just lost top speed, acceleration, grip, and brakes. So your brakes got worse, everything gets worse. So that's why when you know it's going south, when you know you're in trouble, try to throw it sideways. So I was hoping if I was gonna hit a car that I wouldn't hit my front end. I do get damaged at a point here, but anyhow, these electric cars are interesting because you end up at close to the t possible top speed so fast. Like, they're just amazing cars for that. And this guy, better get around them. Cars break at the exit of that chicane. Drives me crazy. Stupidest thing you could ever do. And let's warp ahead before Parabolica. So I want to show you this. Here, I'm heading into the corner. Decent acceleration point, but it just... It just accelerates so fast. And it's just a heavy feeling car. I mean, I think the battery's like a ton in these things. Batteries are really heavy. Now, coming up here... Again, I'm gonna keep taking this cut. It gets really dicey. Oh, and does a pretty good job, honestly. So you just keep doing that. Again, I'm slowing down even more for this cut. This is a, I'm gonna say this is a difficult race because this car is squirrely off track. It's hard to handle. Oh, that little tap. And I've cracked my windshield. So now I gotta be a little more careful because I just lost it a little bit more. I'm gonna lose even more of those grip and brakes, which is what I'm gonna miss the most. And top speed, you can see my, you'll see an immediate drop in my top speed. And you don't really feel it in the acceleration because the acceleration on this thing's just stupid. It's just amazing. So I mean stupid like in a good way, if that makes any sense at all. 
Oh, this thing is bad off track. It's just squirrely. Challenging to drive it. You have to do a lot of throttle, a lot of uh, feathering of the throttle. Tilt A controls will be a disaster off track with this car. I mean, if you can do it, good for you. I recommend Tilt B. Now, I was able to keep going quite a while with this, uh, with the damage, as you can see. Here I am, 97 kilometers. Now, I'm about to do something very shocking. I didn't want to keep going. So, check it out. Boom! And into reverse at full speed. Now, check out. I'm going to change views here for a bit. God, this is difficult. Notice how I'm not logging distance. I'm not losing distance. Distance doesn't count when you go backwards. So watch this. This is all on track, by the way. Did you know that? Oh, look, the old speedway. <laughs> now we're going to warp ahead here as I'm just going to come to a finish. We're going to freeze it right as I'm hitting 100 kilometers. I'm throwing it sideways. You'll see. But we'll do a little freeze frame. Then check out all this damage. 21 minutes and 39 seconds from green light to 100 kilometers. So I was earning $11,596 R dollars per minute. That is with the manager and 2,443 fame per minute with the agent and 40% bonus fame. The base rate numbers are right there. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me today.